look at quadratic formula. Okay, so we're going to use this equation right here. And so the first thing we need to do is talk about what A, B, and C is. So A is 1, B is 19, and C is negative 7. And then we're going to plug it into this equation. So it is negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. So we're going to kind of use this um, to do it. I'm actually going to make this just a little bit smaller because I think it'll fit here better. Okay. So we're going to say negative 19. Okay, negative 19 Now we're going to say right in here We're going to say 19 squared Minus four, and then we put a, which in this case is one, times c, which is negative seven, all over two times a, which is one. Okay. So now we go ahead and we look down here. We leave that negative 19 there. And we're going to do 19 squared, which is 361. 361 minus, um, we're going to do in 4 times 1 times 7. And that is um, a negative times a negative is a positive. So we're going to say plus. 28, and we're going to do it all over 2. Okay, 28 plus 361, and remember I got that plus because a negative times a negative is 389, so we still have that negative 19 out here. Under the square root sign, we have 389, all over so the square root of 389 is 19.7. So we have negative 19 plus or minus 19.7 all over 2. Okay, so that's negative 19 plus 19.2. gives us, I'm just going to divide it by 2. So we've got 0 0.362. Or we've got ni negative 19, negative 19.2 divided by 2. And that gives us 19.1. Okay, let's do another one. All right. My A is negative 7. My B is 2. My C is 1. Okay, we're going to plug this in. We've got negative B, so it's negative 2 times 2 squared minus 4 times negative 7 and 1 all over 2 times negative 7. This negative 7 doesn't want to be in the right spot, so we're going to do negative 2. Okay. So, we continue with our 
negative 2 out front. 2 times 2 is 4. Uh, 4 times 7 times 1. Gives me 28. And again, this becomes plus all over 2 times negative 7, which is negative 14. Okay. So 4 plus 28 gives me 32. So I've got negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 32 all over negative 14. So then I just keep going. Uh, the square root of 32 is 5.65. So I've got negative 2 plus or minus 5.65 all over negative 14. So now I'm just going to do this out. I'm going to go negative 2. So we just do negative 2 plus 5.65 divided by 14 gives us 0.26. So one answer is 0.26. The other answer we have to do negative. So we've got negative 2 minus minus 5.65 divided by negative 14 is 0 0.54, 0 0.54. Okay, hope this is helping. We're going to do this one more time. Um, and we're going to talk about the discriminant, which is underneath the square root sign. So here it's the same thing. I get negative 1. I get 9. Oop, I can't do 5 yet because I have to go negative x squared plus 9x. And then I have to add the 3 to both sides. So I end up with plus 8 equals 0. Because remember, you have to have 0 first. So I still get a is negative 1. I still will get b is 9 but C is going to be eight. Okay, before I do anything else, I'm going to do everything under the discriminant and I'm kind of going to skip all the way down to this step. So I know I've got B squared, so that means nine squared minus four times A, which is a negative one, times C, which is eight. And I'm going to do all of this and it's going to tell me something. So 9 squared is 81, and 4 times 8 times 1 is 32. So I've got 81 plus 32, which gives me 113. So that 113, what it's telling you is if it's 0, it's got one answer. If it's negative, it's got no answers. And if it's positive, it's got two answers. So I'm going to know that this has two answers. So I'm going to skip all the way down to this step. I'm going to say negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 113 all over 2 times a, which is negative 2. Okay. So then we're going to do the square root of 113, which is 10.6. So we've got negative 9 plus or minus. 10.6 all over negative 2. So if we've got 10.6 uh, plus a negative 9, we get 1 point uh, divided by negative 2. We get 0 0.81, 0 0.81. And if we have 10.6 plus negative 10.6 and negative 9, we get negative 19.6 divided by a negative 2, we get 9.8. Okay, let's do another one where we're just looking at that discriminant again. I don't have more on here. But we can see that all of our discriminants here have been positive. So if we get a discriminant where it is 0, there's just one answer. 
negative, no answers. And we've gotten all positives here. So they've all had two answers. <laughs>